Brock Hoffman is an offensive lineman who has the skill set to play center or guard who has a huge opportunity coming into this season. He is a player that was undrafted out of Virginia Tech, but anchoring their offensive line and being a difference maker, as well as being a captain on the team. So it's good to know that he was a true stand-up guy because it is critical at the center position. Having experience playing some right guard last year is good to get this guy's confidence up. Now let's take a look to see if this guy has what it takes to be ready to roll this upcoming season. So when you're breaking down a guy like Brock Hoffman, we know with the center position, it is the quarterback of the offensive line and losing guys like Tyler Biotish, this is the opportunity for this guy to really step up. But you're coming in here with me in the film session room just so we can be able to see what this guy did in college because he did make some good plays and we got to break this guy down to see if this guy has what it takes. So on this play here, you're going to see Hoffman attack the defensive lineman and it's good to be able to see these kind of reps because you got to be able to get in the way, allowing your running back to see the hole and have the advantage. And from what I saw on tape, he's good at being able to wall off and create alleys for the running back and the better centers understand position is of linebackers and defensive linemen pre-snap, giving them a good advantage before the ball is snapped. So we'll go ahead and run it. So just seeing Hoffman being able to strike this guy's pecs, and it's good because if you can get your hands in the interior, you can be able to control this guy at the line of scrimmage and being able to torque your body and turning your hips, sometimes that can end up being a difference of the play. You can see that linebacker and that defensive tackle, the minute he turned his hips, he walled off those guys. And it's great to see this type of play because he manipulated leverage to his advantage. And all it takes is half a second when it comes down to these running backs. You have these shifty guys. If they can be able to see the hole quickly, that's how you can be able to make a difference. And making these type of plays here, this is how you can be able to keep the playbook open. And I know when it comes down to the NFL, it's not going to be that easy when you're going up against these linebackers and these defensive tackles. But seeing these type of reps right here, that was definitely a good one. So here's a clip right here that I wanted to show you of his physicality. And he's going up against defensive tackle Dwayne Carter coming out of this year's draft. And it's great to be able to show you this type of film just so we can be able to break this stuff down. Going up against these prospects as well as guys that's already in the NFL. Fell now. It's always great to be able to break these type of plays down with you. So we'll go ahead and spin it. So just watching Hoffman just being able to get off the ball and just get his hands on Dwayne Carter and completely remove him off the line of scrimmage. And a lot of times with these defensive ends and these defensive tackles, they lose their balance. But if you can be able to just have that interior power and be able to jolt a guy and completely just floor him like that, it makes it so much easier for the quarterback. But sometimes all it takes is one guy to be able to make a mistake and it opens up the whole play. If you can continue to keep on being physical and being able to set the tone, this is how you can be able to run the ball. You can use play action. It keeps everything open and you have to have another guy on the offensive line to be physical and set that tone just like guys like tyler smith being able to be that guard last year getting to the second level and getting things going so seeing brock hoffman being able to remove Dwayne carter like that is always a good look cowboys nation here's another clip of him going up against miami dolphins edge rusher jalen phillips and i have to be able to dig deep so i can show you exactly what this guy can be able to do seeing the pre-snap awareness and being a quarterback on the offensive line and dissecting and removing this guy from the play it's great to be able to show you this so jalen phillips is going to be crashing in on this play and that defensive tackle he's going to be the looper the running back is going to go out and get the pass but just being able to see the awareness at the center position and going out there and being physical and wiping jalen phillips out the play this is how you get the offensive line fired up so let's run it Keying in on Jalen Phillips, he's crashing inside, but with Brock Hoffman, he was patient on his play, saw Jalen Phillips, and stonewalled him. And it's good at that center position because a lot of these times, you have your loopers, you have your guy that's crashing in, but you have to go out there and finish your food, and that's exactly what Brock Hoffman did. The pancake blocks are very, very important. Just being able to erase a guy out the play. And Jalen Phillips is one of the top dogs in the NFL, and he was one of the better players coming out of college. So seeing these type of reps like this is always great because the thing is, when you're going into the NFL and being a starting center, you're going to have a lot of wicked looks that you're going to see. You're going to see blitzing linebackers, blitzing defensive ends, and defensive tackles. So being able to read and diagnose and understand what the defense was trying to do, not trying to overcommit and take that defensive tackle, and finishing this rep was definitely good to see. And speaking on being able to finish a play, watching Hoffman last year, being able to shock defensive linemen in the Washington game and finish up with pancakes is exactly what this guy showed on tape with the Dallas Cowboys last season. So if he can be able to do this kind of stuff on a consistent basis, it's just going to make him that much more better of a center and make the offensive line that much more better as a whole.
So here's one of the plays right here that was a bad play. The defender disengaged and was able to get down to the running back and make the tackle. And he was doing this quite a few times when I saw on tape coming out of Virginia Tech. So whenever you can be able to get your hands on a guy, you got to be able to finish these guys on a consistent basis. He did show that he has the ability to be able to do it, but you have to be able to finish when it comes down to the NFL level, because if not, it's going to ruin everything when it comes down to the offensive scheme. So we'll go ahead and run it. So just watching Hoffman, he did attack the defensive tackle well, but hand placement is key when it comes down to the center position. And you see that this guy never got his hands in the right spot, and he's over committing and shuffling his legs to the left side, and this guy disengaged just like that. And usually whenever you do things like this, if you overcommit and you're not getting your hands in the right places, sometimes these defensive tackles, they know how to be able to get slippery. And this is how this guy can be able to get the advantage. And he didn't make the tackle, but he was the guy that made that running back hesitate and everybody else closed in and made the play. So not saying that this guy was doing this all throughout his whole college career, but these plays are very, very important when it comes down to that offensive line. You have to be able to get those routine type of blocks down, just being able to wash your guy out to play because everybody has a job that they got to do. And it starts with that center position. So it won't be perfect when it comes down to a guy like Hoffman, but continuing to learn and putting yourself in position will be huge. Regardless if he's starting or not, he has to be ready to play whenever his name is called. So on this final play here, it's good to be able to see a second level block from a guy like Hoffman. He is not the most athletic center, but being a guy that has that short area quickness and the running back did see Hoffman stonewall the linebacker and he was able to bounce out and go out there and get the touchdown. It was a beautiful play. And these are the type of reps here that I had to break down for you to see. So let's run it. So zooming in on Hoffman, just being able to just lock in and just see the defender and just keeping his body square and shocking the linebacker. The good running backs can see that clog in the middle, and sometimes those guys can read inside the outside and bounce it out and have daylight. And the good thing is sometimes you got to stonewall a guy in the interior. You probably won't be able to move a guy off the ball, but if you can be able to get in a guy's way like that and have the running back be able to have a clear lane to get to the outside and score the touchdown, and a lot of these NFL running backs, if you can be able to give them an open field like that, they can go out there and boogie. And he went out there and did what he had to do and got it done. So with Brock Hoffman, I had to show you what this player could be able to do, but the question remains, what are they going to do at that left guard position? Do they kick Tyler Smith at the left tackle position and put TJ Bass at the left guard? And I actually like TJ Bass. He was stepping up and making a lot of plays, but it all starts at that center position. 
So guys like Brock Hoffman, he's going to have to step up. If he has that opportunity, he has to embrace it because when it comes down to the NFL, it is not for long. If you're not making the plays, they will go out there and draft a guy. They're talking about guys like Zach Frazier as well as JPJ. Those are two stout centers. So the time is now. It's going to be some growing pains. I'm not saying that this guy is a perfect prospect, but he does make some good plays. But playing that center position, you have to be on point when it comes down to the quarterback. You have to have chemistry there because if these guys can be able to do that, it's just going to make everything on the offensive line that much more better. And comment below and let me know what you think of the offensive line and what moves you think we need to make going forward to be able to take that next step. So make sure y'all like, share, and subscribe and hit the notification bell because the way the YouTube algorithm works, if you don't hit it, you'll miss some fire live streams and unique breakdowns. All right, Cowboys Nation, talk to you soon. Gone.